To hell with it, boys. I'm going in. That's neutral. So, I am currently, thank you, sir, on my way to post some stickers to you beautiful people. Thank you so, so much for your support. I love you guys, you're the best, thank you. And then, I'm gonna go contemplate something really fucking stupid. Really stupid. And I'm already angry at myself, I haven't even done it yet. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. So anyway, let's, let's cut the bullshit and let's skip straight forward to the dumb shit that I was considering doing. Let's fucking go, let's get there right now. Yeah, so quite a long time ago, I saw this little byway here and I thought, don't do it. That's stupid. You could do anything that's not this. Like most shitty ideas, I tried to get it out of my head and I failed. From what I could tell, it's legal to ride down here. Vehicular access is okay. I mean, I hope that I'm right anyway, because I can't exactly do it covertly on this thing, can I? It's so goddamn loud. You can bet your ass too, if there are any nails down here, I'll find them. I didn't exactly have to go far for a sweet view. Nice, you can see Spinnaker Tower and Ports Downhill. What up, Spicy? Onward. Let's see if we can find anything cool down here. I'm not quite sure what part of my mind decided that this could be a good idea. And I was like, dude, you have to ride your bike down that. You might find some treasure or something, or you might bump into some people dogging. As far as I'm aware, dead ahead of me is the ocean. Either the road ends, excuse me, or gets too hard to ride, so I turn around, or I ride off a cliff into the sea. Holy crap, the ruts, dude, fucking shit. Holy dip, Batman. Okay, now this is good, this is fine. The view is great, dude. It's worth it just for that, look at this. Okay, pay attention to where you're going, buddy. That's probably your best idea right now. The view is nice and everything, but do you really want to have enough time to look at the view when your bike is laying down because you didn't see the giant rut in front of you? Oh shit, that's a stone. Your camera really doesn't pick up how big the bumps are and how scary it is. I hope it doesn't get so thin I can't turn around. That would be the worst. Find a route that's optimal and take that. Okay, this side, this side. This side, this side's fine. Oh, mud is my worst enemy. It coats your tires and makes them slippery as shit. Oh dear, okay, no, 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 no. All right, nailed it. Why do this? I'll tell you what though, it's beautiful down here. I'm loving this. I need an off-road bike, that's what I need. I need a scrambler of some description. All right, gravel. Gravel is like the second worst thing apart from mud, I suppose. Oh shit, it's deeper than I thought, oh God. I can feel the front wheel squirming. That's not nice. Oh, feather the back brake. Feather it, there's poo. Oh, 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 tarmac. Yes. I approve of tarmac. I don't approve of the gravel and the rocks. Oh, some people. Fellas, they're thinking, who's this bell end? Are you retarded? And the answer, my friends, is Unfortunately, yes. Yes, I am. I think that was it. We, we're done. That, that wasn't so bad. I was expecting misery and death and fire. Maybe a little bit of rape, maybe. But I mean, that went way better than I expected. Or did it? Or did it? Would it have been better had I died? Well, not getting a million subscribers today. <laughs> now the worst thing that could happen to me is that I get a taste for it. And like, yeah green lanes and stuff on a street triple, that'll be fine. Oh, back onto the road, right, let's see if I can get any shit off my tires. How am I doing shit-wise? Not bad, okay. Yeah, I don't have that much on my tires that I lose traction, so. Good, good. So another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about 
was uh, that videos on the channel are going to be a little slow over the next couple of weeks because if you remember recently I said that I'd been in touch with the company about some work and I'm happy to say that they've been cool enough to grant me a contract for one job not not like employment but they've said okay we want you to do this for us so that's awesome I've landed a contract I've got a job going and uh, that's going to require my full attention for the time being because I want to do a good job I want to impress them and I want to be proud of what I produce so I know I know you guys will understand I know you understand I don't need to harp on about it but I do have more good news really good news in fact I'm super super excited about it it's great so Kelly and I have finally found a place we're staying on the island because realistically at the moment we just can't afford the big island, the mainland, it's just too expensive for us right now. We found a nice two bedroom place with a garage, a garage, whatever. <laughs> I know the US influence is strong with me right now, which is gonna give me a little bit more room to breathe creatively. It gives me a space to keep the bike safe, which I'm just so, so grateful for. It's got enough room for me to build a little studio so I can finally set up that sticker wall that I've been talking about. Those of you that have been sending stickers into the PO box, you guys will be featured in the background of those videos from now on. It's just, it's a weight off my shoulders, it's a weight off Kelly's shoulders, and it's a weight off my parents' shoulders. For those of you that don't know, back in June last year, after Kelly and I got back from uh, the Atlanta trip, we lost our jobs at the same time because we worked for the same company and they downsized, and that was it. We were both affected, which really sucked because it put us in an extremely difficult situation, and we had no choice but to move back in with my parents, which is totally not what a couple of like nearly 30 year old people want to do but we were extremely fortunate that my parents had enough room for us to be there and were willing for us to be there so I owe them an enormous debt of gratitude for that they kept us on our feet they gave me the opportunity to pursue my my uh, career on YouTube with you guys and freelancing and that's priceless absolutely priceless and now that Kelly and I have found our own place with enough room that can continue. In fact, it can ramp up a little. Uh, with a studio set up, it will be much, much easier for me to create the kind of content that I want to create. That's a beautiful place. So, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, nobody wants to move back in with their parents at our kind of age, let's be honest. But now, finally, things are looking up. We've got this place. We're moving in the middle of May. And of course, I'm going to bring you guys with us. I'm going to show you the new place. It's going to be great. I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to it very much. I just hope that in the future, things look up for Kelly and I a little more and we're able to pursue the idea of uh, moving to the mainland and getting more done because there's more opportunity there. There's more work there. Most of my friends are there. So that's what I want. I would like that. Hey, buddy. I just wanted to let you guys know. It's been under wraps for a little while now, but there it is. We're moving out. We found a place. I can set up the sticker wall. I can do fan mail videos easier, better. Oh, it's going to be so good. Anyway, people, if you enjoyed the video, please do punch the like button. If you dislike the video, feel free to punch the dislike button, but please tell me why so that I can make better content for you in the future. And as always, I have been Smo. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.